Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk men's basketball. And with us, head coach Andy Brockman. Coach, welcome to the show. It's good to be here. I know uh, since the last time we saw you, it looks like you've uh, shaved your beard a little bit. Every, every, every once in a while, but it'll grow back. So, uh, yeah, clean shaven and uh, baby face Bronx. Maybe it's a new thing. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, as we've talked with some of the other coaches, a uh, very challenging, uh, unique fall period here with no competition. And really goes back to the end of last season uh, for you guys when the NCAA tournament was canceled. Yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting last few months, that's for sure. And uh, heading down to Indianapolis on the bus, um, you know, ready to try to get the stink bone off us after getting upset in uh, what was a great Gliet game, um, highly contested, and, uh, you know, down to the wire. But lost that, had... Great preparation, 11 days of preparation, going to the national tournament once again, which is a huge honor to represent our league, and then just getting 45 minutes away. I mean, you were, you were on the bus with us, and we were just kind of checking the updates, and you know, I was able to stick a little bit of nap in there just to, to get away from it all, but it seemed like it was just collapsing down on us, and then just to have to go back um, to the back of the bus and address the team, and you know, just impromptu like that, and, and uh, not really knowing what to say, um, but just knowing that uh, their careers in basketball has prepared them for adversity like this, and uh, th those guys handled it well. And, uh, you know, the seniors moving on to uh, bigger and better things in their lives and the next great thing. So real tough. Um, didn't get a chance to compete and haven't since. So we're just trying to do the best we can with whatever we can each day. That's kind of our, our mantra right now, and you know, we'll move forward with, with some positivity. Obviously, uh, last year, as you go back and look at last season, 27-6 uh, and six overall, six straight years with 20 wins or more, and, and obviously you've got a national championship in there, as we discussed uh, here earlier on the show, but um, really one of the great seasons in, in Bulldog basketball history uh, with 27 wins uh, last season. I think it marks the third most wins in, in school history, so uh, without a chance to, to tie uh, the 28-win team in 2017. So... Great season. I think the thing I'm proud about the most is just our senior class leadership, uh, just what they were able to give of themselves to the team and the sacrifice. I, I think that's the best storyline that we had. Uh, and then you never losing two games in a row was also pretty special, just a team that bounced back and, and uh, you know, was very consistent. So love coaching the team. We had a lot of fun, and uh, it was a great year. Just just ended without, you know, being able to make a run. Obviously, uh, you lose uh, three highly productive seniors uh, as part of that uh, team from a year ago, but I know you're excited about a lot of the guys you brought in to kind of replace those guys as you move forward uh, here to another year. Yeah, it's never easy to lose guys that you've trained for five and four years. There's a lot of experience on that team, and uh, but it's what you get used to. You know, it's the next man up. You're kind of just you're planning it, and you're planning it who's going to step up and how the freshmen are going to fit in and. Um, we're very excited with our talent level and the tools we have to develop amongst our team. We have a pretty big roster right now, 18 guys, and uh, evenly balanced out in the classes um, the way we like it. And I think the future is really bright. So uh, we're turning the page, and, and we're investing in the guys that we have now. We're training them up, and um, it's, it's exciting. Just looking forward to getting on the court and getting to practice and getting to some stuff some type of season that's worthwhile and a great experience for our guys. So looking forward to that and just excited for where we are. Obviously, uh, in terms of the guys coming in, uh, you've got a, a nice mix uh, with some freshmen coming in. You've got a junior college transfer, and then you've also got three guys that were uh, able to sit out last season as red shirts. Yep, we, we, you know, practice delayed gratification. You know, we've been doing that for years. We've been red shirting guys and trying to gain an advantage or, or develop them that way. It's not easy to do. Uh, we've had the luxury and the ability to do that. Um, I, I think those redshirt guys will come in with an impact right away. We got some size with Aiden Short and Ryan Siegel, and then we got a great guard in Quantez Jackson. You know, Quantez coming in with experience from junior college. You know, scored 700 points in junior college, and then had a redshirt year for us, picking up everything he needed to. And then with the big guys, you know, just bolstering the the down low position for us. And uh, you know, we've had some great luck over the years w w with that position and uh, maybe got away the last couple of years from it, shot a few more three-pointers because that's where our skill set lied, and, and that worked out fine. But looking forward to pounding it back down low to these guys. And, and then our freshman class is, is also pretty impressive. You mentioned Bayes as our transfer. You know, he's 
slated to play um, again with with the bigs, and uh, you know throwing it down low, getting some post feeds, and we like to do that. But the freshmen, they all have a chance. Uh, they all have talent. They're definitely going to play and have great careers, um, you know, at some point in time. But probably in a perfect world, you know, they'd all have the ability to redshirt also and develop. And we recruited them that way, and they understand that. But you never know. You know, each year we have spots for freshmen to fill um, in the lineup, or something unfortunate happens, or something they beat somebody out, and they're just too good not to play. So um, remains to be seen, and we're looking forward to it. How was the success uh, from the past six years uh, kind of carried over in the recruiting uh, for you guys, and then also uh, this past summer, obviously a little more of a challenge in recruiting, uh, not being able to get off campus. Yeah, couldn't get off campus to recruit. Uh, luckily, Coach Moan. Uh, myself too, but Coach Moan leading the charge, and just we're, we're out there, and we knew, we knew a lot of the faces. We already had made evaluations and strong evaluations, cross-checking, and multiple uh, eyes on guys multiple times where we could make some sound decisions. Um, re recruiting is an uh, ever-changing landscape, um, and it's not an exact science. So we're, we're always constantly learning what it is, what it isn't. A after winning. I mean, we didn't win any games the first year. We won ten. Well, we won ten games. I think you wrote a sweet article about it. You know, we won double-digit games or something, and and uh, we made it sound really good. But we had a the all-time winning as recruiting class after that year. So um, winning has, a, you know, gave us an in to I think some higher talented players. But um, players say no and they say yes for different reasons. So we just under promise, over deliver. Tell them what we're about, what we want to do. And uh, we, we actually get a lot of, we still get a lot of no's. You know, it's just about finding that, that Ferris State guy. So, and we've, we've gotten good at it, but, you know, I, I'm not sure it's easier or not. It's just different and never changing. So we're happy with the guys that we have. Finally here, uh, real quick, what's the, the mindset, I guess, of your current guys, uh, nine letter winners coming back, uh, and maybe a chance to, to play uh, for something here at the end of the year? Well, it's kind of a changing of the guard. We, we've. We've got a young nucleus. We've got some returners, but um, nobody. Well, Mike, Mike got in a couple, couple games in the national tournament. Didn't ha didn't have a stat. No offense, Mike, but uh, nobody else on our team had a stat either in the in the national tournament or or played in the national tournament. So we missed it one year, and then last year it, it got taken from us. So the mindset of this team is to get back and, and do something and uh, you know, leave their mark, leave their legacy. And uh, we're going to pursue that with everything we have. And if we get it, we'll be excited about it. If we don't, we knew we put you know, our best foot forward towards you know, being the best we can be. So that's our approach. But it's a unique circumstance with this group. I mean, nobody's done anything. Uh, it almost feels like we have because of the guys that came before us. But um, this group hasn't done anything, and, and uh, we have a lot to prove. Coach, thanks for being with us here today. All right, Robert, thanks. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. Follow all the action at FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.